In this video lesson, we are going to take a look at the individual cost curves of the firm. And the first cost curve is called marginal cost. Marginal cost will go down and then up because of the law of diminishing marginal returns. It will rise with the amount of output produced. This first part here, as it's going down, reflects that when units are cheap, costs will be low and our productivity will be high. So all of our cost curves will have this starting point. The marginal cost curve is the most important cost curve. When we take a look at this curve, it's going to tell us if a firm's going to have profits, will the firm break even, will the firm have losses, or should the firm shut down. The next cost curve is called our average fixed cost. And this is labeled AFC. Once again, all our curves are going to start off in this downward shape. When units are cheap, costs will be low and productivity will be high. Now, average fixed costs. The fixed costs are costs that do not vary with the quantity of output produced. An example of this would be like a mortgage payment or rent. Average fixed cost remains constant when it crosses the marginal cost curve. So, let's draw a price and quantity mark here. So this would represent quantity one and price one. The next cost curve is going to be called our average variable cost curve. It's going to go down and once it hits marginal cost it's going to increase upward like marginal cost would. Variable costs are costs that vary with the quantity of output produced. Examples of these could be supplies, utility payments, taxes, the number of workers the firm will choose to hire, as well as the salaries of those workers. Now, as you can see, we're moving upward along the marginal cost curve. And this cost curve is going to show us that our price and our quantity are increasing because we're moving along marginal cost. The final curve is called our average total cost curve. And this is abbreviated ATC. Average total cost, it's our average fixed cost plus our average variable cost. It declines as output increases. Average total cost increases upward when it crosses marginal cost. And because our average variable cost rises, so will our average total cost. With our average total cost, it's showing us that our prices and our quantity will continue to rise. So pay attention to these points here. From average fixed cost to average variable cost to average total cost, for a firm to supply more goods and services, it's going to cost them more money. So once again, the marginal cost curve is the most important cost curve and at different points on the curve will tell us many things about that firm. If our price 
is at this point, and it's above our average total cost, the firm's going to experience what we call a profit. What this is saying is that the firm is able to charge a price here, which is higher than the cost to produce that good or service. If we're at this point here on the marginal cost curve, we refer to this as minimum average total cost. This is called a break-even point. What it is saying is that the price that we are charging for the good or service is the exact same as it was to produce that good or service. If we're at this point along the marginal cost curve, we are at what we call minimum average variable cost. If our costs and our prices fall below average variable cost, we refer to this as a shutdown point. So anything below minimum average variable cost, any price below, the firm should shut down. So there will be many times in, in an economics course where you will have to shade in profits and losses. So let's take a look at where we would shade in the area for a profit. As we previously just looked at, if our, our price is here on marginal cost, we are above our average total cost curve. So what we do is we bring this point all the way to where it touches average total cost and we bring it all the way over. So this entire area that is shaded in represents profit. Once again, if this is our price, we just bring this all the way down to where it touches average total cost and we shade in this entire area. This represents a firm earning profits. For losses, uh, anything that is below average total cost is referred to as a loss. So if we were at this point on the marginal cost curve, we would bring this all the way back up to where it's touching average total cost and back over and we would shade in this entire area so once again we find the point on the marginal cost curve since it's below average total cost it indicates that we are experiencing losses we bring this all the way up to where it touches the average total cost curve bring it all the way over and we just shade this entire area in. Profits, losses. Very important to know in an economics course.